Quick! Bar the doors to keep Murray inside. I can't hold out much longer. Turn just in time. Now that Murray is locked up, he can't stop us. I fooled the Praetorians into waiting for the Mayor's arrival before they attack. We have to use this borrowed time wisely. You have to free Calliope while I search for the missing golden fish token for Davy Jones's chest. Once we open the chest, we can return Calliope's deposit and restore her powers. Then, she can tame the Kraken. Hurry! Before the Praetorians guess that something is fishy. Or worse, before Murray breaks down that door. We better split up to cover more ground. Try and help Calliope. You... you found me. I hope my lover is alright too. You're saying that Murray is going to order an attack on another ship? That there is no time to lose. I had to part with my powers to create the Golden Octopus. Any residual power I had was locked in the hidden chest. If you can open that chest and bring me its contents, I can control the Kraken again. It will also mean that the pact between Murray and Davy Jones is broken, and the mayor will have to suffer the consequences. And I... I will return to the sea at last. Find the rest of the golden fish tokens and bring me the chest's contents. Time is nearly up.
There should be a golden fish inside, but I can't reach. Try to shoot it down. Soon, the fish curse spread to even the purest of townspeople. They tried to resist Murray's rule, but the movement had no chance against the powerful Praetorians and the mayor's bloody punishments. The ageless townspeople were living in fear, isolated from the rest of the Caribbean because of their fish-like features. Time stopped for Kingsmouth and everyone affected by the curse. Over the years, one of the Praetorians felt the pangs of his conscience over Murray's murderous ways and got himself assigned to guard the siren. Listening to her sad songs longing for the sea, he gradually fell in love with the imprisoned Calliope. This fishman became a sympathizer of what was left of the resistance movement and began to think about releasing the siren from her anguish. In time, Calliope started to trust her strange companion and fell in love with him. She told the fishman about a chest where Murray hid a deposit 
which would restore her unearthly powers over the Kraken, about 12 golden fish tokens, and about the pact with Davy Jones, which has to be broken once and for all to save her and townspeople from the fish curse. The trouble was that the corrupted mayor will never give up his riches and power the easy way. The desperate fishman took it upon his shoulders to save Kingsmouth and Calliope. One night, he kidnapped and hid the siren, then stole the box with the golden octopus. Unfortunately, the box turned out to be locked by Davy Jones' magic, and the Praetorians quickly picked up the trail of the stolen artifact. They combed the town in search of the siren. When all seemed lost, the siren remembered the rumors about a person who, against all odds, had played against Davy Jones and won. You. Well, that's the second time you've meddled in Davy Jones' dealings. I don't think it will be long before Davy pays you a little visit. Don't mind me, I'm just saying beware and good luck. The golden octopus is gone. Murray must have taken it upstairs, to the gong. We're too late once again. Murray has taken Calliope upstairs and is already summoning the Kraken with the gong. If we can get the conch to Calliope, she'll know what to do. We're the only thing standing between Murray and those innocent passengers on the ship. We have to storm the top of the lighthouse. Onward, my friend. I've got your back. ended the terror of Mayor Murray. But to ultimately break the curse of Davy Jones and save the town, the Siren had to return to the sea, forever leaving Kingsmouth. All citizens took part in this touching ceremony. And when everyone celebrated their regained humanity, only one person remained sad. I know this to be true. I witnessed it with my own eyes. <laughs> 